everybody. This is Gardening with Erica. I'm Erica and I wanted to talk to you today about pruning your tomatoes. Um, but first let me show you what we're going to be working with today. These are our tomato plants. We have both Roma tomatoes and cherry tomatoes in this bunch. Well the first thing you probably notice is that uh, they're heavily overgrown and um, I'm going to explain a couple of reasons why, and these were the reasons slash mistakes that we made when we first started this. So I started these from seeds in February, and in each little pot I put a couple of seeds in, which is what you're supposed to do, but what I didn't know is that if several of them grow up, you're supposed to um, prune it down to one, and so I didn't, and I didn't know that. So I just, if you can come in a little bit closer, move Valley. Um, you will see see the different stalks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six stalks in one location. So um, my bad, I was supposed to clip this down to one. So that's part of the problem. Um, the second problem is that now that they are grown, um, they need to be pruned and I haven't been pruning them. Again, I didn't know. And so the reason for pruning them is for a couple of reasons. One is they need to air. They need to have air pass through here or it increases your chance um, of getting some sort of disease like powdery mildew um, or mildew spots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip them down and, um, and I'll show you how to do that. The other reason why you wanna do it is because if you have too many sprouts in each of the plants, um, then, the, then your harvest is struggling really hard and competing with the other plants. So if we can um, cut some of this down, it won't have to work so hard to produce fruit. So we're going to get started. These are the Roma tomatoes, so I'll start with this one again. The first thing you want to do is clip all of the lower branches that are touching the ground. So we're going to clip them. And as you can see, these look a little bit um, more sick than the ones at the top. Um, because the insects will come after the ones at the bottom first and also because they're touching the ground and they're not getting a lot of air. So we're gonna chop all of these down. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is look for the armpits, as they like to call it, of the stalk. So you see here, there's one arm, there's another arm. So if there's anything growing in between the armpits, we need to uh, clip them or pinch them. If they're small enough, you can pinch them like this one right here. We're going to pinch that off. And this one is pretty low. This is a mess. I should have been doing this when they were smaller. Okay. So you can already see the air has a much better chance of passing through here than before. So that looks good. Now here is an example of the armpit we were talking about. So here's the arm, here's the arm, and there's a little guy in the middle, so we need to clip him. All right, let's see this one. That's good. All right. I think this one looks good. So anyway, I'm going to be working on this. You a before and after, but you can take a one last look at how bushy that the tomatoes look, and then I will um, complete this and show you what it looks like afterwards. This looks so much cleaner, and let me show you underneath. Look at all that space, so that's great. So now the air can get through there and keep the plant healthy the leaves are off the ground so it won't cause disease like powdery mildew and they're going to be a much healthier happier plant 
Well, when I was cleaning these up and I pinned them to this trellis, I noticed that they started to root. Do you see that there? So I'm glad I didn't wait any longer because then they would have rooted rooted right into the ground here and that would have made it even more difficult. And then over here, the Roma tomatoes, they're a lot smaller than these, so they were, these were much more manageable, right? When I cleaned them up, you can see underneath. And this looks very nice. So remember we do this again to increase the airflow, to prevent disease, um, and I think that will help them breathe a lot better, ergo and continue to grow and produce a, a large harvest. So there's the final look and we'll keep an eye on them and hope that uh, they do a lot better than they would have had I left them alone. Thanks for watching the video and I hope that you learned from my mistakes. Remember to start pruning them early on so you don't have to deal with this nonsense like I did. Thanks again for watching and we'll do some more videos soon. Take care.